everybody, it's Lynn again. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. When I was a kid, I grew up on the farm and we grew our own vegetables in the garden and one of the things that we grew was leaf lettuce. And from that leaf lettuce, very often, my mom would make wilted lettuce. She'd fry up some bacon in the skillet, uh, have it cut into little pieces, uh, make her own uh, sort of dressing from sugar and some vinegar and some water and pour that over the lettuce to wilt it. Maybe sometimes pour it over a couple of times. And that is and was one of my favorite salads. Now since that time, uh, it's kind of hard to find uh, leaf lettuce, but I've learned that uh, you can use romaine lettuce and I learned to grill romaine lettuce and so as some of you know just a couple of weeks ago I finally got the uh, griddle plate that goes with the power grill finally after waiting for quite a while and so I decided to try to use it to make uh, wilted lettuce with romaine lettuce but as you also know I've been trying to uh, take care of my health a little better and so I have tried recently uh, the veggie bacon uh, that they sell in the supermarkets and actually it's not so bad. It's different of course. And I've been using stevia for a long time in my coffee so I thought I would try to make the wilted lettuce two ways and to show you how I make it uh, on the griddle plate on the power grill. So that's what we're going to do today. The difference in our salads will be in the old-fashioned way, we're going to use one strip of regular thick-cut bacon, and we're going to use a tablespoon of sugar. So a strip of this bacon has 50 calories, and a tablespoon of sugar has about 45 calories. On the other hand, with the new version of the salad, we're going to use veggie bacon strips, okay? Now, we're gonna use two of these veg veggie bacon strips because they're smaller, and one serving is 60 calories, and then we're gonna use three packs of the stevia, uh, and the stevia has zero calories. Now, the big difference here is that in our fat content, uh, this has 35 of the calories are from fat whereas with the veggie strips uh, the total fat is seven percent the ingredients that will remain the same in both salads are we're going to use some water we're going to chop up some uh, scallions or green onions we're going to use a couple of cloves of garlic we're going to use some apple cider vinegar and of course we're going to use the romaine lettuce. Today instead of using the grill plate we're going to put in the griddle plate. I'm going to use the griddle plate to uh, cook the bacon and also to uh, grill the uh, romaine lettuce. I have the ingredients all prepared, uh, the green onions or scallions, uh, the garlic, I've got about three quarters of a cup of uh, apple cider vinegar, and then I've got about three quarters of a cup of water. Over here, I've got my veggie bacon. Now I've cut it up into small strips. One of the things I can say about the veggie bacon is you can store it, it stores well in the freezer and it's easy to separate and use when you take it out. You don't have any problems uh, separating it. Unlike bacon, if you store bacon and you don't separate it before you put it in the, in the freezer, it is very difficult to get to it apart. Likewise, I've got it cut into, uh, oh, let's say about between a quarter and a half inch strips. And then over here, uh, for our bacon salad, I've got about a tablespoon or a little better of sugar. And for our 
veggie bacon salad. I've got three packs of the stevia to use instead of the sugar. Now, I've got my romaine lettuce prepared. I've washed it and cleaned it, and I've got it cut into halves. Now, make sure when you clean it that you don't cut off this end because this is what holds it all together. So you can clean the end nicely, but uh, keep it all hooked together uh, so that it will grill without separating. I've got the power grill heating up and I set it for 320. One of the things that I found with the griddle plate is that it stays much hotter than the grill plate does because it doesn't have any holes in it. Uh, the heat doesn't escape and so it gets much hotter and stays hotter. And also, as before, I reminded you, make sure when you take off the grill lid, use a pot holder or something else to protect your hands because it does get hot. We're going to start with the bacon, the actual bacon and put it out on the griddle. And as you can see, it, as it immediately hits, it begins to sizzle. And this bacon is really good. It has a nice uh, smell to it. So I'm gonna put that on there. Now we're going to add half of the green onions that we started with. because remember we're saving the other for the veggie bacon uh, dressing. And then half of the garlic that we diced up. And we're just gonna let that cook so that the bacon can uh, cook down and the veggies can get sauteed. The bacon is cooked almost to my liking, and I've moved it down to the other end of the power grill, and now I'm going to place the romaine lettuce on the grill. I'm not going to add anything to them because we've got the uh, grease that's left from the uh, bacon. I'm just gonna put them down, cut side down. And as you can hear, they are sizzling. Just gonna put those last sprinkles of the leaves in here with my other bacon and veggies. I'm going to add my sugar to the bacon. Just dump that in there. I'm going to put the lid back on so that the lettuce can wilt just a little bit. I've turned the lettuce over and look how nice and uh, golden it is. So we've turned it over so that the other side can cook just a little bit. My sugar has all cooked into the bacon. I'm going to use half of the vinegar that I poured because remember, I'm going to use the other half for the other salad. Notice how that sizzles. It's cooking down pretty fast, so I'm going to add a little bit of water. And I'm going to move my greens over into the liquid. So that they can absorb some of that bacon taste and vinegar. Okay, I'm going to plate them up because we don't want them to cook completely. These are not very large uh, heads of romaine lettuce. And for the moment, I'm gonna turn my power off and my fan off. 
and I'm going to scoop up some of that bacon. got it all. So I've cut some of it up and let's give it a taste. Let's see whether it tastes like uh, mom's wilted lettuce or not. Mmm. Nice bacon taste. Mom never used garlic. So that's a little bit different. But this is a nice, warm, yummy salad. Now it's time to make the grilled lettuce with the veggie bacon. And we're just gonna do it pretty much the same. So I'm not gonna take you through the whole process, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of differences. Because the bacon doesn't have really much fat, we're going to use a little bit of olive oil. And we're going to let that cook a little bit. I wanted you to see how this looks in comparison to the regular bacon. The veggie bacon and the onions and garlic are getting nice and brown and I'm ready to put on the romaine lettuce. This time because we don't have much uh, fat from the bacon uh, as we did the regular bacon, I'm going to spray a little bit of extra olive virgin oil spray on the bottom of the of the romaine lettuce before I put it down on the grill. You can hear it crackling. And I'm going to add the stevia. I'm using three packs. I'm going to add the stevia to my bacon and veggies for the dressing. I'll stir that around a little bit so that that can all get cooked together. I have the heat set at 320. I found that the veggie bacon uh, burns a little more easily than regular bacon, so we don't want to keep, don't want the heat too high on it. I'm going to let that uh, cook for a little bit more and I'm going to put the lid back on the top so that the lettuce can get wilted a little bit. I've turned the halves of lettuce over and as you can see they're wilted on this side but unlike when I used the regular bacon because there wasn't as much bacon fat left the air the grilling marks are uh, not as evident on this side. Now I'm ready to add the vinegar. And I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit. I'm going to turn the heat off and the fan off and I'll put the lid on just so that that can steam a little bit. I've got the lettuce plated up and as you can see we've got our pieces of the uh, veggie bacon. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes in comparison to the dressing made with the regular bacon. I've got it cut up a little bit and let's give it a try. Mm. 
it has as good a flavor. I like the sweetness that the stevia gave it, maybe a little better than I did with the sugar. The veggie bacon is a little bit different. It has a good uh, taste to it, but uh, it, it doesn't have the texture that bacon does. It's a little bit more like uh, bologna. Mm. Tastes very good though. Well, after comparing the two, uh, I think I like them both. There's not really a big difference in the calories. There's a big difference in the fat that you're getting, but you're only using one strip of bacon in uh, the recipe that uses real bacon and sugar. So if you're just doing that uh, and making the wilted lettuce, you're probably not going to overdo it by using one strip of bacon. It's when we get into using several strips of bacon that we're adding more and more fat and adding to our cholesterol problems. So one of the last things I'd like to tell you is with both of these salads, I added a little bit more extra vinegar on after I made them because I felt like they needed a little more tartness because they are not, the lettuce is not able to absorb as much of the vinegar on the top of the grill as uh, you do when you pour the uh, vinegar mixture over the leaf lettuce. But for me, it's a good alternative and maybe you'd like to try it. So if you enjoyed this video and you like it, could you give it a thumbs up? I'd appreciate that. And if you're new to my channel and you'd like to subscribe, you can also do that below and that'd be great too. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, exp exposition or let me say little trip down the memory lane uh, with me into uh, lettuce land and we'll see you soon, okay? Nos vemos! Portense bien!